so this is International Academy of Macomay. So, hello, Rooney family. Oh yeah, hello, Rooney family. Today we'll be giving you our financial proposals. To start, we have currently estimated your net worth to be $108,000. Your assets are currently $354,000. This includes your savings account, your real estate, the Bitcoin you have, your retirement accounts, and both of, and your vehicles. Your liability is currently $245,000, and this includes your mortgage, your credit card debt, your student loan debt, and your car. So we've also calculated your current monthly expenses. Uh, monthly, you spend $7,700. Uh, this includes services such as such as paying for insurance and other things like that. Um, your monthly income, pre-tax, is $7,800. And adjusted for Macomb, Michigan, tax rate, you are currently bringing in $6,300 for both of you. Uh, your current monthly deficit is $1,300. So the client goals, which you have told us, is to have $54,000 in total saved for both of your kids' college funds combined, to have one vacation trip per year, and to eliminate your credit card debt. First, we're gonna go over your insurance recommendations. First, for auto insurance. After comparing multiple different quotes, we have determined that your insurance for your cars is very good, and we recommend uh, keeping your current insurance. You did have a concern about if you could lower it, but we do not suggest uh, changing your current insurance because it would not be worth the risk. For health insurance, um, first, it's good to have health insurance because the average 65-year-old will spend 300,000 in out-of-pocket medical costs during their retirement years, and we recommend an HSA, tax advantage, employer sponsor accounts, um, and this will be a, and this is used to reimburse employees for qualified medical expenses, and the entire amount deposited is, is tax deductible on returns for that year, even if you not itemize deductions. HSAs are usually offered in conjunction with high deductible health plans, so yes, you do have reimbursements at your disposal. Lastly, for life insurance. Um, you did have a concern about uh, for your children if it was necessary for them. We don't think it's necessary for them because children do not have any dependents. There might be some costs if one of them were to die, but that would be funeral costs, and you should have that covered in your emergency spending accounts. Um, you two, on the other hand, would greatly benefit from life insurance. Uh, we recommend term life insurance, which would be cheaper than full life coverage. Uh, we recommend 20 years because it would be better, um, better overall. Uh, this will cost you about forty dollars per month for both parents. So, one of the best ways that you can uh, increase your income is to try to get increases in your salary. So, first, look for jobs with higher salaries and assuming benefits are similar. This would be a good move. Um, Another way to do this is to continue your education through night school. A way to cover this is applying for grants, and this will make you more ed eligible for promotions and raises. Um, so cutting monthly expenditures through eliminating debt uh, is a good way to uh, boost your income. Uh, so right now you have $11,185 in student and credit card debt combined, um, and you have your Bitcoin right now which is selling at about $39,900. And we generally don't uh, say that you should, this is not a great investment for someone in your situation. So if you pay off your, if you sell your Bitcoin and you pay off your debt, you'll have $28,715. Um, then you might wanna consider investing $300 for an electric lawnmower to cut down on the, uh, the expenditures for lawn service and then you'll have $28,415 for an emergency account. And this account, once you start bringing in more money, you'll be able to split this account into your uh, retirement savings and college savings. But right now it would just be a um, emergency account. 
Now the Can-Am uh, is a relatively new purchase, so if you were to sell it, it wouldn't be a drastic change in your lifestyle, but right now it's just another thing that uh, is, you, you have to spend on monthly, and it doesn't really bring anything to you. Then finally, if possible, you could try to uh, cook more, and that would cut down on your monthly expenditures on eating out. So for credit cards, we recommend that you keep the Ventrax card and you get rid of the Marriott because it has a higher APR interest rate. And then for Mrs. Rooney, um, we suggest that you challenge yourself not to use the TJX card for six months. And then if you can do this, then you can um, get rid of it entirely. And this again would just be one less thing you have to spend on monthly. So for the college fund, we recommend a 529 plan. MESP offers unsurpassed income tax benefits. For Sloan, to pay for, his, for, to pay for your um, intended goal for his college fund, it would be $144 per month. And for Ben, to reach his goal, would be $137 per month. Um, the plan would allow you to invest money tax-free. Uh, we recommend putting that money into index funds because uh, it's a safe way to store your money and it provides consistent returns. So for your questions for retirement, if you to invest $1,000 into the S&P 500 downright, which has an annual growth rate of 8% of and you add $500 to the investment each month, then by the time Cameron is 60, you will have $756,115. You'll have $482,853 by the time he is 55 and $1,092,961.80 by the time he is 65. So yeah, depending on how much money you want saved up for your retirement, it's up to you, but that compound interest really does add up. You'll definitely have enough money to travel like you wish to do when in your retirement years, and this is without even factoring savings. As for your questions on whether or not you should combine bank accounts, joint bank accounts can simplify finances and offer the ability to save and spend from a single account, while separate bank accounts can allow for each partner to retain their financial independence. Our solution is to keep separate checking accounts for your own private purchases, but to make joint accounts for savings, emergencies, and shared payments such as the mortgage and shared goals such as vacations. So uh, using the AARP social security calculator, we calculated that Cameron will get $1,901 a month, uh, and Jeannie will get $1,794. You guys were concerned about that. So another thing we recommend for investment taxes, uh, and we want to let you know that ETFs, like the SP500, uh, that have no capital gains tax. And finally, with Jeannie's ending lease, uh, so it's coming to an end, and you need a new car. Uh, the 2020 Nissan Rogue, is similar to her, the current car that she owns and leases for $369 a month, and that is less than her current lease. So after all the cuts and additions to the budget, uh, you are currently spending $6,238 per month, and your monthly income is still $6,342 per month. So this leaves you in a $103 surplus and with this surplus money, we encourage you to invest it into index funds and hopefully get a return on that. So in conclusion, the plan that we have proposed does have sacrifices, but our job is to not to um, make you as or happy immediately, but rather to make you as happy as we can by making you uh, have more financial stability. Uh, thank you, Roonies, for coming to us for your financial uh, uh, advice, and thank you for your consideration. Good job, you guys. So we'll, we'll take a few minutes, you guys, just with some like yeah, some questions and just you know, some clarification that we have and some before we let you guys go and stuff like that. So where whoever wants to start, okay. yeah, yeah. Start. I just have a couple things. I'm wondering if you considered a couple of things and your thoughts on the husband selling his truck. Um, let's start with that. Can-Am is not a truck, it is a... No, the Silverado. Silverado. 
Oh, the Silverado Eagles. It was, it's, I think, over $700 a month. Was that something you guys considered? Or considering the, the research you did on the insurance, you figured, okay, let's just stick with that? It's okay to refinance it. Seeing as the debts will be paid off, it's not unreasonable to think that he will have a higher credit score in the future. And with that higher credit score, he could refinance and get a lower monthly payment. That's an excellent answer. Um, and then also, what what was the term remaining on the mortgage? Do you recall? Somewhere around $170,000. I mean, the um, length of time. Oh, the length of time? They had a 30 year mortgage, I think, and they bought the house a couple years ago. Was it, was, it, was, it a 30 was it a 30 year mortgage? Yes. Okay, did you consider at all the length of time remaining in the mortgage when you made your recommendation for the length of time for the life insurance? Because typically, you want to have enough life insurance to cover paying off your mortgage if something happened to anybody? Yep. Yeah, we did consider that when looking at it. Um, I think left on the mortgage was 20, 21 years, and we recommended a 20 year length. Excellent. And then my last question is, any thoughts on combining their credit card debt into one of the cards that has the lowest APR? Yeah, in our presentation, we suggested that they get rid of Cameron's credit card because it has a higher APR rate, and having everyone just use the one credit card belonging to Jeannie since it has a low APR rate, and with the money from selling the Bitcoin, they will be able to sell off to completely sell the debt. Excellent, great job, Ford. Mm -hmm. right, yeah, I liked how you used the phrase challenge yourself to not use. That was um, a very friendly term for someone trying to make a behavior change. Mm -hmm. um, my question is actually about the child care, because I'm that that's there and it's a significant expense. And I know in terms of planning for the future, it's an immediate expense right now, but had you considered what that might look like for the family, you know, um, after Ben and Sloan are, are out of childcare when they're, when they're attending a school? Did you think about that at all or? Not really, this was more for the first you just went for the right three now. years. Okay. By that point, they will have, they won't have to pay for daycare and at that point, their finances will be looking more to what we projected them to use. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, Yeah. similar to, to the question about childcare, we have, my wife and I here, have talked about moving because uh, our in-laws live uh, about an hour away. <laughs> what, what's your thoughts on that, guys? Pro, pros and cons of, of selling your house and moving. Does that make sense? Or? It's a last ditch resort. Last, okay, tell me more. Well, You've been living in the house for nine years. To sell it would be a hassle. You would okay. lose money from the interest rate, which you have been paying on the house, of course, uh, including the mortgage payments. Okay. It's very difficult to move from one place to another. Okay. You'd have to find a new daycare center. The mm -hmm. prices in that daycare center might actually be more mm -hmm. than the prices okay. in the current daycare center. And even though their, uh, their in-laws will be able to take care of the kids longer, it might still even be offset by the lucrative prices of the daycare center there. Something to consider. Yeah, and with rising house prices, mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't be the best idea for them to sell the house now. Okay. Maybe in a couple of years they could consider selling the house and moving. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the advice. So I think you guys. I'm okay if you guys are, are good on this. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys. Thanks for your presentation. Okay. We we appreciate that. We're all, um we, we've got a few more groups that we're gonna see, but. Good work. Take take everything with you and stuff like that. You can leave the door open um, and um, and we'll follow up in about 45, 50 minutes. Okay? Thanks, Thanks guys. Good job. All right. Thank you. So I'll just take a quick look at somebody's in the hallway.